So it's that time of year again where most people are playing beat the clock to get their taxes either started or finished. Maybe they even have some money coming back they want to use towards something. Uh, or maybe they owe some money and they're putting it off a little bit to uh, set up payment plans or what have you. Um, I deal a lot with real estate investors, uh, investors who buy and sell uh, residential real estate property, some commercial real estate property. And these properties are owned and maintained for the purpose of profit, whether it be in the buy and then sell for a profit or the buy and hold it rent it out for you know a, a monthly profit or, or cash flow and when you have that type of situation you have to pay taxes on the money that you make okay so when you buy a property and then you make some money on it you sell it you owe capital gains on the uh, on the increase between the the purchase price and the sales price so the, and the difference so uh, I had a case right here I'm just looking at um, one of my clients papers and he sold a eight unit an eight unit uh, investment property uh, in uh, Pontiac uh, looks like he cleared about sixty five thousand dollars in profit so he purchased it put some money into it when he closed it the profit he showed was about sixty five thousand dollars okay um, he was able to take that $65,000 and use it as the down payment on two separate properties going forward. Uh, so what he did is he, um, he utilized a 1031 tax exchange. Okay, so if you're familiar with a 1031 tax exchange, it's, you know, it's part of the, uh, the, the tax code that allows you to take profits from an investment property and put it towards another property of like use within an allotted amount of time and defer the taxes owed on the capital gains. So look, if your short-term capital gains are 15%, but if you're in a situation where you're paying, you know, um, you know, long-term capital gains or you're paying capital gains based on your tax bracket and you're in the 20, 22, 25%, um, you know, on $65,000, uh, you're losing anywhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars right off the top. So being able to allocate that money towards another project and not not pay taxes on it is a big deal, especially if you have you know four, five, six of these projects going on at a time. There's some guys who do this full time and they got a project like this every month. So to do the the ten thirty one exchange correctly, you have to know some of the rules. Okay, one of them is that you have a certain amount of time from the time you close on property A before you have to identify property B. They give you 45 days. You have 45 days from the day that you close on this property to be able to identify where that money's going on a new property, okay? You know, in, in, in all practical terms, I closed today on an investment property like this guy here that made 65,000. I need to have a purchase agreement in place within 45 days for the next transaction where this money is going to be used. Okay, now I'm eligible. Okay, and I file my paperwork right and I work with the account and all that kind of stuff. Um, from the day that I close, the other clock that starts ticking is I have six months to then close on the new transaction. So I close today. Uh, this is the end of February. Uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, I have to close by August, okay? I got six months to close from the time that I earned the money to the time that I put the money down and, and close on the new transaction. So it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, but when you're starting to think about some of these investment properties that, that take a lot of due diligence, uh, maybe there's some permits that gotta be pulled, maybe there's some zoning issues, it gets a little bit tricky. That's why they give you a little extra time. So. 1031 exchange, great strategy to save you some money off the top on some of these transactions where you, where you make a little income. I mean, that's what you're in investment real estate for is to earn the income. You don't want to take 10, 15, $20,000 off the top of something like this where it can be used to go towards a new property that's going to cash flow you uh, or going to uh, increase you know, exponentially over time. So, um, if you have investment properties or you're getting into it, bone up on the 1031 tax exchange, sit down with an accountant. If you need a good real estate agent or mortgage guy to talk to you about it, I can answer some questions anytime. 
586-615-2868. And good luck. Take care.